good morning to everybody and especially to the uh, speakers who has delivered uh, good valuable speeches and uh, from uh, the product commercialization challenges during pandemic uh, actually uh, we we as an uh, east link we have started in 1998 and we have more than uh, three offices in colombia and one production plant in homagama uh, when uh, Dr. Fuji wants to uh, have some proposals to uh, develop some uh, medical devices for the country, as Dr. Angelo correctly said, uh, we were selected some product that we can use our present uh, facilities, uh, the production facilities, uh, which we are using for the last 12, 15 years, as uh, like we want to uh, pick the low hanging fruit. So we uh, tie up with the CB to uh, develop a smart ICU bed for the, the country and for the, the, the industry, for the, the hospital, hospitals, right? So then uh, what we have used is our present uh, resources, what we are using for our product that we are manufacturing for both Sri Lankan market as well as for the export market. Especially, we are, we are in a lot of... Uh, data center solutions and self-service machines and uh, we have a, a patent range of electrical panel system where we export about 15 countries from Australia up to the Canada and US. So we use same machinery and the technology what we are having to develop this uh, smart ICU bed with uh, Dr. Pooja and the team at the CP. So we use our design engineers and we have high-tech CNC machines and robots for steel fabrication and the skilled workforce, especially the research and development engineers who are working on this, our developing our projects or products. So this is the uh, ICU bed we have designed and manufactured with uh, CB and Eastling, which is a, a, a smart ICU bed with a lot of uh, features and uh, with the feedback from uh, both the CB and the, the, the engineer, the staff, the, uh, engineers from University of Morotua and the doctors from University of Morotua, as well as different uh, medical doctors who has visited our plant and give some feedback and we could incorporate uh, those features. As Dr. Angela correctly said in his presentation that we got uh, many uh, feedback from the, the, the doctors, medical doctors and the health, uh, the, the health staff and we could able to incorporate those features into this ICU, smart ICU bed, which generally an uh, imported bed will not able to do it in that fast or that, uh, that uh, uh, flexibility. So as we have our design and development team, as well as the production plant in Sri Lanka, we could immediately incorporate whatever the, the, the features that medical doctors are looking for or the health staff is looking for in this kind of ICU bed. So going forward, let me explain the different type of hospital beds to get a better idea of what is, what is hospital bed and how far we have, we have gone in our country to design and manufacture these hospital beds. So when we uh, did a market study, we could find most of these hospital beds are imported from different countries. Maybe some are maybe assembled here, get, getting the parts down from different countries and assembled here. So in case of uh, hospital beds, you have two types of beds. One is called mechanical driven beds or the ma manual beds, whereas you have to change uh, the positions of the beds using the mechanical cranks. So, so you have hospital bed with one function or you have a you can uh, adjust your backrest with the mechanical crank and you can have the collapsible side rails to as a safety feature to the, the patient then you have this with the backrest and the knee breaker whereas you can lift up the back to rest the patient or, or the you can the knee area to as a knee breaker those are with the mechanical cranks, with the two cranks for the two uh, backrest and the knee breaker, and also with the collapsible side rails. Then you have the hospital bed with three function beds with the mechanical crank, three cranks for the backrest, 
knee breaker and the height adjustment. Whereas you can adjust the height of the bed as for the medical staff or the doctor's knee. Then you have the same bed with the ABS boards as well. Whereas to have a give the better protection or maybe uh, to have a quick uh, release of the ABS side boards as well. So generally, uh, if you say the, the, the generally now most of our hospital when we uh, have a study use the three function bed with the mechanical cranks and maybe with the collapsible right side rails mostly. Then we have a, a, another type of bed whereas electrical driven those beds are uh, comes with uh, linear actuators where the beds different positions are she can be changed using uh, pendant uh, whereas controller pendant whereas the, 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 the health staff or the doctor can change press the button and change the position of the different functions so it, it also has three function beds backrest knee breaker and the height adjustment with the electric, electrical linear actuator so those are generally comes with ABS boards. Then you have the, the real ICU bed or the five function beds, whereas you have backrest, knee break, height adjustment. In addition to that, you can have, you can tilt the portions of the patient and also the CPR lock, whereas the doctor or the health staff can pull the CPR and put the bed into the flat portions. Those are five function beds. So, with uh, this kind of uh, developments, with a lot of uh, inputs came from uh, different parties, from the CB and the medical doctors. We want to make it a somewhat special bed rather than what generally import and use in the hospitals in Sri Lanka. So we add on different uh, items or the different accessories to make this bed a smart ICU bed to make it more friendly to the, the doctors, the medical staff, and the patient as well. So if I just explain uh, the parts of the bed, I don't know whether this uh, diagram is clear to you, but anyway, I'll explain. In a normal uh, ICU bed, there are different uh, parts, the major parts that uh, we have to uh, have in the ICU bed. Generally, it comes in the steel frame, and with the medical grade casters, the low noise casters, those are uh, medical grade casters has to be the certification. Uh, this, this is a backrest, whereas you can uh, lift up or in the flat portion with use of either mechanical cranks or in the electrical bed with the linear actuators. And you have the knee breaker, whereas you can lift up with the use of the same as in the with the mechanical cranks or the linear actuators. And the side boards may be ABS or maybe with the collapsible rails made of aluminium. Then you have a headboard and the leg board where I can the, the, the health staff or the medical staff can uh, remove it easily to treat the, the, the patient uh, with the convenience or maybe the emergency or to treat them well, you can easily remove all these uh, stop uh, the headboard and the leg board. Then with these uh, inputs from the, 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 the medical doctors and the sponsor CB, we had added some items. So we add uh, add on rail for the head side and the leg side. So you can see we have added a rail, whereas it can be plugged into the ICU bed, which can used to have a different kind of accessories as for the uh, as for the requirement. And uh, so then we have this uh, IV pole. Anyway, it's, it's a standard item for the, the ICU bed, IV pole. Then we added a document holder. One, uh, one uh, feedback from the medical, several medical doctors get feedback when you have an ICU bed, the reports and other document has to keep on, on the bed where the, it's inconvenience to the patient. So we fix a, a document holder, whereas all the reports and other, uh, whatever the X-rays or MRI scanners or whatever the reports can be put into that uh, document pocket, it's fixed into the uh, bed as an add-on. Anyway, it can be easily removed as per the requirement. 
other one is the oxygen cylinder holder where, whereas in the if you are in a icu you can use the inbuilt or the piped uh, oxygen supply but if a critically ill patient has to take into the uh, operation theater or the surgery the oxygen cylinder has to be taken by another trolley so this bit has a add-on unit whereas you can keep the oxygen cylinder put into the bed with add-on you can easily take it out or you can put it back with the no screws it's just a uh, the, the, just to uh, put into the press pressed into the slot then you have the pulley assembly actually uh, when you have an orthopedic patient you have a different uh, mechanism to keep its uh, weights onto the, the they are after the surgery they have to have some weights onto the patients that may be a lego whatever so we have add on a pulley system whereas it's also add on unit whereas you can remove this leg board and just clip on the pulley assembly whereas the orthopedic surgeon or the doctors or medical staff can put up the required weight to the particular patients uh, after the surgery to healing process <laughs> then we have a right in top uh, whereas this this can be fixed into the either head side or the leg side to a doctor to or the, the the medical staff to write up whatever the reports or the the prescription or whatever they can keep use these devices or the right in top the most important thing is the we have we want to uh, give some uh, value addition value proposition with the use of the smart technologies to this icu bed so we we have some facility to have a camera system whereas uh, this camera can be fixed in a different portion is this in this icu bed in addition to the multi para monitor so this camera can be accessed through the nurse station whereas uh, generally in a icu uh, the, the the patient has to be well observed so it can be a, a physical observers by a health staff or the nurses but also you can uh, monitor from the nursing station through a, a, a the, the display whereas uh, you should have the username and password for the privacy but the nursing staff can observe the patient from the nursing station and the good thing is this can be have, this has a, a web app there is web solution whereas even a doctor at home or the in some other place they can log into that particular web service and monitor the patient through this camera so we can have one or two or maybe up to four cameras even you can zoom the camera and see what's a physical uh, appearance or uh, how the patient looks like because for a, what I, i i heard from the medical doctors it's important for the doctor not to only get the the parameters to uh, maybe ecg or whatever the heart pulse but have a physical look on the patient is more more important so we we add on this smart devices to get a close look on the patient as well especially this may be more important with the covid patient whereas you don't have to go close to the patient to have a look on them so you can observe from the distance places to a remote monitoring system so this is a web based so you can monitor from the hospital or from on the go or maybe at home or even overseas you can monitor the patient through this uh, ip camera system or web based camera solution so then when we are developing a product like this so yes yeah, sorry sorry let some more to explain uh, then we have multi para monitor fixing plate that's very common and also some some facilities like bed bottom tray and many other devices that we add on to this to make the work of the doctors the medical staff the nurses and the even to convenient to the patient usually when you take the patient into a the the, the hospital the, the operation theater or for surgery or for a other ward you have to put everything of his belonging into the bed but we have done many other facilities to have a trays on the bottom and some add on to keep their items uh, without any ob obstacle for the patients uh, or keep on the bed or just to have a different devices or accessories to keep those devices so when we are developing a product like this we have a uh, product development life cycles so 
First, when you are having a product development, as Dr. Angelo very well explained, first most important thing is the idea generation. So as uh, even this ICBED is somewhat familiar product, but uh, we add on some smart uh, features to this. With this idea generation came from different uh, forums like with the brainstorming with the CB uh, team, with the Dr. Puji and the CB team and with the medical doctors and our design engineers, they get together and put the ideas as the idea generation. What are the features that we should add on to this normal ICU bed to make it a smart ICU bed and make it a more value for the end customer than a normal ICU bed. So this idea generation was a most important thing to develop a new product. So then after we, when we are doing R&D, you'll have to go for a quantity, not the quality, because whenever you have a brainstorming session, there are several uh, people will come up with different ideas. So if we turn, uh, turn down the ideas, you say your, your idea is dumb idea, we don't want to implement them, then others will not come up with uh, bright ideas. So always the most important thing in a, idea generation is to get more and more, more and more uh, ideas, especially in a very, not only the formal environment, even in the non-formal environment, different people may get different ideas, not only the design engineers or the medical doctors or the doctors, even the technician may give, come up with some idea. So we gather all the ideas. Then we, second step is the screening. We filter out what is not viable one. So we want to filter out which are not viable, maybe technically not viable, maybe commercially not viable. We filtered out and selected some ideas that we should be able to incorporate into this product. So those are screening. So we put in the screening. So third one is concept development. So once you get the ideas, you will have to design a product that will go for a long term or have a sustainability not to make a product as a prototype and just have a, okay, we have developed a product. No, we have to have a product that will go in the long term. So with the, all, all, the, all the factors we'll have to consider on that. So this concept development, we are going for short analysis. Those are strengths. What are the strengths of ours to develop this product? What are the weaknesses of ours to develop, product, this, develop this product? What are the opportunities? Both, both the technical opportunities and the business opportunities and what are the threats. So we have to develop the concept on the, the short analysis. Then we come to the product development. So then once we screen the, the ideas and that we, once we develop the concept, we'll have to start on product development. So when we go into the next slide, I will go in detail what's the product development because Design and manufacture of a prototype will take a challenge because we'll have to have a long process on the, the product development and a lot of cost involved. So in the design product development, we'll have to first do the basic designs. And when do we have to go to the, 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 the graphically, like the, we have to go for the AutoCAD design and also the solid work, the 3D design and see how the product design going on. Then we have to go for a, uh, sourcing, because most of these parts we do here in Sri Lanka, but some parts, we are as we don't have facility to source from Sri Lanka, we have to import like headboards or medical grade casters, maybe the linear creators we had to import, but all these sourcing has to do with proper product to our design as well as for the proper pricing as well. Then for the commercialization and rollouts. So this is after do the prototype, we then we have to go to the NMRA for the approvals. Then only we have to go for the commercialization and rollout in the large scale production and commercialization. So my topic uh, as Dr. Puji suggested is to challenges during pandemic to do all these things. So when you come to the idea generation, so we have to work with uh, all these pandemic situation with uh, Mostly our meetings were on virtual meetings or with the, with the Zoom or uh, whatever the virtual meeting. But we had to get sometimes uh, to get the doctors, medical doctors as well as from CV doctors to get and have a look on our prototypes and give their feedback. So it was challenging, but 
we we were managed to do all these things with all these challenges with uh, special passes and we developed the uh, ideas were uh, gathered and uh, we shortlisted all the with the uh, all the ideas then we came to the screening so screening process was also same as ideas but somewhat easier then we even few people can uh, sit together and uh, Then the, then the concept development, when we do the uh, short, uh, short analysis, uh, we were doing what are the, why, why we want to develop this kind of product in Sri Lanka when there are some uh, imports are there. But we want to see what are the strengths that we can add on. So if you import a I assume it from some other countries, we have to buy what they sell. It's very difficult to do customization as per a, our requirement. So we saw so that is as a strength that we can do this in Sri Lanka with more value-added uh, features, add-on necessaries, where we can uh, uh, give a better solution to the customers or the, the, the patients and the doctors and the medical staff. So that was one of the trends that we can see. And also with the uh, backing of the CB, we, we, we saw that we can have better interaction with the industry or the, the hospitals and the uh, other regulators where we can make it as a trend. And weaknesses was one of the most uh, worrying weaknesses what we had is whether we can match the prices that the imported bids are giving. So in the initial stage on the concept development, we were in doubt because at that time we were not uh, done any uh, even preliminary costing or even we have not sourced our parts. But we thought, okay, let's take a challenge and see how we can do that. To, to do that, we should not go into the same standard of an important bit. So we want to make it a better bit, better, better quality, better features, better uh, user-friendly. So we thought of okay, we can come, we we can overcome our uh, overcome the weaknesses by giving a better product to the uh, industry. So then the opportunities also we thought okay, we can uh, we there's a requirement for the hospitals different kind of beds. So even once we develop this bed for the three three function beds, ICU beds, so we can go for the other type of beds as well. Whereas I have seen in many hospitals that they are using very uh, sometimes very primary level beds. So we, even with the, this kind of uh, product developed in Sri Lanka can give better health facilities for the general public. So we thought of its opportunity. And also the threats is the whether we can uh, scale up this uh, product for the Sri Lankan market. So that those are the concept development that we had to do at that time. Then we have to do a total marketing plan, but even this, uh, this kind of product, we didn't go for a really a commercial venture, but we want to be a part of commercial and part of a like a CSR uh, project, whereas we can help this uh, country and the people who want a better healthcare facility. So we want to, we didn't go for a total marketing plan as what we do for our core product. So, but as we don't have much investment on our plant and machinery because we are using the same plant and machinery what we are using at the moment for the other co-product that we are manufacturing and export we we didn't have a, such a marketing plan but we have some hopes whether we can sell this product in sri lanka and uh, all these as well uh, then product in the product development uh, so uh, the challenges was design and manufacture the prototype was the key, bring the, the regular design team and the team meetings as well as get down the particular technician was a challenge because there were some lockdowns and we have to get special passes to get the particular CNC operators and different design engineers. So those are those those are some uh, challenges that we have we have to face during the product development and sourcing of the components was challenging because uh, 
from not only from local but also from the overseas. So with the high uh, freight cost and the sea freight cost, and uh, they are, sometimes some countries were locked down, so we have to wait some weeks to get down the parts. But we managed to our logistic team managed to get down from different countries the different parts, and we could overcome those challenges. Even the clearing at customs, airport, and seaport was delayed because sometimes they were locked down. So we had to uh, have those uh, delays incorporated into our uh, product development pipeline. Even as I said, the factory workers now were not available and sometimes they have to be away from uh, factory on the production time, on the production area. And so they, those are the challenges that we had to face during the uh, production process. Uh, commercialization and rollout. So the large scale production and commercialization we have not done because now we have Develop the bed and we have now presented with the NMRA. So, uh, so we are waiting until we get the NMRA approval. But once we get the NMRA approval and one, we are very, very much ready to uh, do the large scale production because our production plant has almost all the machinery that we can do any kind of steel fabrication, like as MAC is more towards the fabric area and they are, have the expertise on fabric and the that area. We have the complete expertise on the steel fabrication. So we have the complete shearing sheet metal designing technique. We have the we have a lot of software we are using for designing like AutoCAD, the solid works and different other uh, steel fabrication and mechanical engineering software. And we have the complete steel uh, shearing systems and we have a lot of uh, we have many shearing machines and we have the CNC uh, uh, plasma cutters and we have the for the punching we have sheet punching we have CNC turret punches whereas you can feed the AutoCAD drawing or the solid work drawing into the machine whereas machine will convert it to the G chord and uh, take the drawing on the AutoCAD into the sheet metal sheet into the pinpoint accuracy like 0.2 millimeter tolerance. So we have total steel fabrication facility or the punching facility. And then we have the CNC uh, bending machines to bend into the 0.2 millimeter accuracy as our products are mostly uh, bolted type or the modular types. So we are all, always uh, keep the, the good tolerance uh, for the product. So we have all kind of uh, welding like TIG uh, start all kind of buildings are there. Then we have our complete automated powder coating plant, and we have uh, machining centers to all kind of steel blocks and the 3D uh, machining. And uh, we have all the gas cutting machines, robots, linear robots for the gas cutting as well, and total tool room. So we have total production facility for uh, mass production of this product with going parallel with our, the other products as well. So commercialization and rollout is not a, a challenge for us, provided the, the pandemic is not uh, hindering our process. The supply chain is, uh, we can uh, use our supply chain, but maybe a higher cost with the pandemic, but it's manageable. So with this commercialization and rollout, we have not faced any uh, problem at the moment, but we had some challenges during the, uh, importing the products for the prototype manufacturing, especially from the customs delays and the, all these. And the TRC, we had to get down some kind of telecommunication regulatory commission approval for some smart devices and uh, SLSI as well. So it come to a level where as product is now gone to the NMRA, maybe uh, we have to uh, wait until uh, uh, NMRA approval is uh, to be received for the order to get the NMRA approved to get the uh, market this product to the industry. So we hope uh, we can make this uh, product viable product for the market, whereas it's a made in, maybe the first made in Sri Lanka is made in the commercial grade. Maybe I have seen some prototypes I have done by different uh, organizations and some universities as well. But to my knowledge, what I heard from uh, CB and other places, this may be a first uh, Sri Lankan made ICU bed to be commercially uh, available in Sri Lanka. Thanks to uh, Dr. Pooja and the team at CB and the, even my team was worked hard during, even during the pandemic to 
make this uh, uh, happen in, uh, to the reality. And also to different medical doctors who call me and, and also to give the different uh, feedback to make this uh, successful. We'll see, I think Dr. Luan may have to give a better role in uh, giving approval on this product. Uh, maybe he had help our team and the CB on this and hope uh, this product will be available for the Sri Lankan uh, in this, available in Sri Lankan uh, hospitals very soon with uh, once we get the NMRA approval.